everybody, it's Roman Rich again. I'm in Afton. I'm gonna take you for a little trip down Route 66 in Afton. And then we are going to hit the sidewalk highway, which is a special treat for a lot of people. Um, it's the uh, section of Route 66, which is only about uh, nine foot wide. And uh, it was constructed that way because back in the old days, if you didn't have money, you didn't do something. So there's uh, Laurel Canes Afton Station, and uh, here's the old rest haven on the left-hand side. Anyway, uh, they only built the highway nine foot wide because they couldn't afford to build it the full 18 feet wide. So they had the choice of of going the full distance half wide or doing it full width. Um, only half the distance long so they chose to go nine foot wide the full distance now over here to the left behind this Quonset hut and this green shed used to be a little bridge and that's where uh, you know from out of Afton the nine foot wide highway used to start and you used to cut through this tree line over here I have uh, explored all this extensively by walking back through here, um, I happened to get permission from the landowner who lives in this house up here on the left-hand side. His name is Malvin Burks. He's an older guy. He fly, used to fly airplanes in and out of here where this field is at. Um, also, Route 66 used to cut across his yard. You can see the tree line up here over uh, right there where his driveway is. There's still little sections of the curbing of old nine foot wide Route 66. And over here to the right, I'll be turning off. Used to cut across here, and it looks like the state has just freshly graveled this section, which is a bummer because uh, you can barely see the concrete below. Uh, but they love bringing their graders in here and tearing up the road so I figured the best thing to do is videotape it while I could they just recently put a marker up over here um, kind of dedicating this from the Will Rogers Highway um, the plaque there tells uh, some more history about the uh, the road so I'm gonna keep going here it cuts back across the current day Oklahoma 66 and uh, I'm going to continue uh, eastbound on old 1920s Route 66. Can't really tell at this point. There's a uh, the highway's there. It's just underneath all this rock. They piled up on top of it. Once I get going a little bit further, you'll. Uh, You'll be able to see the nine foot wide highway. Uh, to my left, you can see some of the concrete curbs sticking out. That's not a rut, that's actually a curb. <clears throat> Here's a section right here. You can just kind of barely see the asphalt and the concrete coming through. Originally, it was uh, concrete, with concrete curbing on both sides, and at some point, they paved in between the curbs. Keep continuing uh, eastbound here. Here's a small section poking through. Just have to bear with me. We'll get to the good stuff here shortly. You see some of it poking through there. I'll try to speed up a little bit. I'm doing about uh, 35 right now. See if we can get to the good stuff. Again, this is in Oklahoma. Uh, I'm navigating eastbound from Afton towards Miami, Oklahoma. That's where this uh, sidewalk highway ends now, is in Miami. It's a shame they just keep dumping rock on top of this road and running a grader down it. At some point, this road will either be gone 
totally or uh, we'll have to take steps into saving the sections that are there. There are some sections coming up there in really nice shape. All right, right in here we're getting into some good stuff. Yeah, this is, see, this is it right here. We're on the nine foot wide highway. Now, it gets broke up right here by Interstate 44 by the Turnpike. We're gonna go up over this, uh, used to continue straight ahead towards this telephone pole coming up. Now they've got an overpass that uh, crosses over Interstate 44, so I'll get over that real quick. You see how old the guardrails are here? Those are probably original to when they built the interstate. And then uh, we get up here at the sidewalk highway, we'll come back out and reappear. Right about here. You can just make out some curbs to my right side. This highway. Oklahoma is one of my favorite things about Oklahoma. Um, Shelly Graham created a piece of uh, postcard art depicting there was a, well, it was a photograph. There was a dog, a small dog, uh, running towards her down 66. And it happened to be a kind of a foggy day. And she uh, snapped a picture at the right time and captured the whole moment. It's really cool, and uh, it inspired me to come seek out this highway. And it was just one of those factors that culminated in with a bunch of others that inspired me to uh, get involved with Route 66. My father and I were in the paving business, and uh, I brought him down to Weatherford, Oklahoma, uh, about a year ago. And uh, he didn't believe me that this highway existed. I got a picture of him when we come out here. You know, we were exploring it. And uh, he's pacing it off. Now here's a real treat because a car's coming. Now back in the old days, they didn't have all this gravel. All they had was the highway. So, uh, you know, both cars had to put a wheel off into the dirt or stop completely and pull off so that the other car could pass. And that's what we're going to do here too. Actually, that guy pulled off, so how convenient. But uh, this is this is a pretty nice section here of uh, original 1920s sidewalk highway, Route 66 through Oklahoma. If you get time, you got to look up Shelley Graham and, and find that photograph. It's it's really cool. It's by far one of my favorite photographs ever taken of Route 66. She's she's very talented photographer. Eight and a half minutes into this, and uh, probably coming up to the end now. Uh, this vocational school over to the left, they they didn't like this this section of road coming through here, so they they took it upon themselves to uh, just pave over the whole section, and that pretty well concludes this section of. Uh, 1926 alignment near Afton. Now there's another section closer to Miami and I'll cover that in just a second. I'm Roman Rich and uh, I'm going to cut this off here and we'll, uh, we'll come back in when I get to the next section. We're back. Uh, right now we're on present day US 69. I apologize earlier I said we were on uh, Oklahoma designated 66. Uh, but we're on US 69. Uh, over here you'll see the sidewalk highway kind of start to bend into US 69. We're going to hop on this right now. Look over there to your right of the screen. You can see just a little remnant of the, uh, the turn. And uh, if memory serves me correct, I think this section of 66 has uh, been treated a little bit better. 
if you want to say it that way. Uh, it's definitely much more visible throughout the entire stretch. Uh, this particular section leads over to Miami, Oklahoma. Just keep in mind, I'm heading from east, I'm sorry, I'm heading from west to east. Um, this will put me uh, almost into town. It's, it's where it comes out is a little south of uh, Miami. This is by far one of the coolest uh, pieces of history of any U.S. highway is the fact that this is only nine foot wide. It looks to me like they've been putting a lot more dirt and sand on top of the road. That's, I guess it's better than rock. I mean, they depends on how they apply it to the road. If, they, if they're using a grader blade or motor grader, that's it's pretty rough on the road catch these ridges and, and sections sticking out and it peels them right off. Right now I'm doing about 30 miles an hour. The road's kind of rough. Here we're going to be turning left and uh, we'll be heading north. These old roads used to follow the, uh, the property lines of the farms and uh, so they kind of stair step. Yeah, even this section has been has been uh, destroyed in some places. It just keeps getting worse every year. And it's, a, it's a real shame that the people here don't understand what they have. That people come from all over the world just to drive down this little section of road. They, you know, they ought to they ought to do something. Either uh, make a road off the side of this or just do something to preserve it because they're really doing a number on it. Some of the old roadies can tell you you know, like uh, Shelly Graham or Jim Ross, or Joe Sonderman, Jerry McClanahan. Uh, all these older roadies have been studying the road since the 80s. Quinta Scott. Um, it, it was probably in near perfect condition. I mean, I know when I first stumbled across it about 10 years ago, it was in much, much better condition than it is now. I mean, this section, it's, it's gone. It's, it's not even here. So if you're thinking about doing a Route 66 trip, and you're thinking about, well, we'll, we'll, we'll come see the sidewalk uh, highway another time, you may want to reconsider that idea because it's it's probably not long for uh, long for our world. It's, it's probably going to be disappearing in the next 10 years. I'd say in the next 10 to 15 years, it, you, you may not, you'd be lucky to find any piece of it. They start building houses back here, then they'll start bringing big, huge concrete trucks and other heavy machinery down the road, and that's what really tears them up. Throughout the, the, the bends, the, the turns, they do widen the road out a little bit. I couldn't tell you how wide exactly, but I would imagine it looks like it's about 12 feet wide when they when they make it through the turns. Now we are uh, heading exactly east again. It's unbelievable. I mean, I was just over here a year and a half ago, or a year, no, not even that long ago, less than a year ago with my father, and it, this just looks horrible compared to what it looked like uh, back then. Almost unrecognizable. I think we're coming up on the end here shortly. Up in here, 
pretty sure there used to be a lot more trees along this road. When I first found this, it seemed like there was more trees along the road. And if you study Shelley's photo, there was a lot more trees too. Uh, off to the side, I just noticed uh, where a greater blade had come through and they pulled sections of curbing out. Chunks of curbs are just laying over on the side of the road. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking here. this this was not like this last year this used to be uh, sidewalk highway 2 they must have extended uh, extended the uh, pavement from the main road out this way well anyway I suppose that concludes uh, the sidewalk highway for Oklahoma I would encourage you to get out there and see it while you can because it's it's rapidly disappearing so uh, anyway hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll catch you later